Hello everyone. Welcome back. I'm here with another video and I'm playing with some more new product. Today's card, I'm going to be using the Happiness Abounds, actually it's Hues of Happiness bundle, um, is the suite, but it's the Happiness Abounds stamp set and the Blossoming Happiness dies. And I'm also using the Stylish Shapes dies. I just recently got this because I needed to replace my um, ones that we had before. That was the circle, the square, and the oval. And this one is quickly becoming one of my favorites. So join me in the studio and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, for today's card, I'm specifically using this image and this that sentiment. From the Blossoming Happiness dies, I'm using that die cut. And from the Stylish Shapes dies, I'm using both of those. It's the smallest square. No, not the smallest. Maybe the next one up. And that one. I don't know what it's called. I guess a banner. And then my ink is Knight of Navy. So the first thing I need is some scrap paper. And I am going to stamp my image with Knight of Navy, like so. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment with Knight of Navy also. So I'm gonna do all my stamping. Here we go. All right, now, I need to color this. And I decided I haven't done any glycerin coloring lately, so. I'm going to do some glycerin coloring. So I'm going to add some ink to my block. Um, let me grab a piece of paper if I have one. Um, just so you can see there's ink there. And then I'm going to add just a drop of glycerin to the block. Now when you do this and you use a blender pen, you can't use this blender pen for anything else because the glycerin in it makes it um, too juicy. So I usually take one that's kind of dried out and that's the one I use. That's the wrong end. This one's better. Ooh, no, wait a minute, let me get another one. That one looks like it had white on it. Here we go, this one's better. All right, I'm gonna use this end. All right, and I'm just gonna pick up some glycerin and I'm gonna spread it out. Now, if you want your image really lightly colored, Pull your ink all the way out. And I'm just going to color it in like it was a marker. I'm going to go out a little bit more. I find it better. I've been playing with my colored pencils and you have to do those in circles. So I find this better if you um, take and just kind of draw a long line. All right. And then you can fill it in. Okay. I'm gonna see I've got it really really watered down now. But you just keep coloring till you're happy with it. And it's okay if there's lines in it. I mean, flowers in nature are not perfect. I keep pulling too far, but that's okay. Um, I'm trying not to go outside the lines because I am going to use the die to cut this out. All right, there we go. So I've got it co colored. And then when you finish, you wanna make sure you scribble off until it runs clear so that you don't, when you go to use it again, you don't contaminate your next ink. All right, so let me find my piece of 